Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of the cheesiest man alive. So today we're starting with a PvP. And I have a little plan here. A little plan. I have a brilliant plan over here. I'm going to be proxying a second gateway. So it is a one gate proxy, but the proxy is uh, a little bit delayed. I think I probably need to send my worker out at this point. So I need to rally another bad boy down. Now, the beauty of this build is that you can pretend like you're one gate expanding. And that's a very big thing in life. So I'm kind of, you know, the one gate expand is a, the most common build order currently in the meta um, with as many, you know, good ramp maps as there currently are. Now, the beauty of this is, is that it allows me to pretend to do this. I can send like a probe down even to all that type of uh, good stuff while at the same time proxying a gateway. I'll get a a zealot at home like you usually would as well so everything is going to be fairly standard my opponent will scout and think hey this is fairly standard as long as my opponent decides to stay down in my natural so this is absolutely key is that i force my opponent to stay down in my natural now what is a good way to be doing that is by having a worker down hello it's not even blocking this actually could be a bad thing this probably is going to be a bad thing I don't like this whatsoever. Okay, well, we're gonna scout. I'm really curious what is happening right now. This is... Oh no, I'm being too gated. <sighs> that's not good. Oh, that's really not good, is it? Okay, another pylon. Was it even necessary? Probably not. Probably should have gone a second gas first. I mean, I'm also being proxied, which, funnily enough, might actually be in my advantage. I could do two things here. Um, one, I could go look for the proxy, which is what I'll do with my zealot. Or two, I could, could not look for the proxy and just go absolutely ham, basically. Ah, oh, this really sucks for me. Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at? Now nah, we're going to go look for the proxy, no matter what happens. Okay, you go here, you go here. Aha, we got you. Okay, that's actually a really big deal. That actually is a huge deal. We'll follow this up with a, uh, a three gate pressure as well, which we definitely can get away with. Oh, this is huge. I think I can, oh, he's gonna try to, he's gonna try to keep it going. That surely won't work. Um, the one thing I need to be fairly careful of is some type of, uh, what you call these guys? Some adapt or something moving across the map. Because that could be... Oh, it's double adapt. Could be a little bit scary, I guess, in some way. Kill one of these. Probably should kill this building first as well. well should get one of these out. I think this is a win, honestly. Take out both of these adapts. Took out the Stargate. Is that a probe coming out? I think that's a probe coming out, isn't it? What was that? I saw that something was being sent there. I still probably need a uh, an extra gateway here. That's for sure. Maybe it was a probe. Still wanting to build a, a pilot. No! It was double adapts. Nice, I was correct. Yeah, okay. The game is officially over right now. I'm going to walk up this ramp and win the game. In three, two, one. That's his finish, yeah. It's just, it's impossible that there's anything here right now. That means I'm actually just going to be winning the game, I think. Do I need to... Ooh. This actually kind of... Ooh, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Ah, the reason why this is bad is because I need to warp stuff in at home right now. Outside, please don't die. Please don't die, Mr. Pylon. Okay, Pylon is gonna die. It's gonna be an... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Mm. So he did send a worker around. Oh, this is pissing me off to no end as well. Once more. I'm uh, gonna have two of these in the main base. I'm going to take out this bad boy over here. So I'm at least inside right now. Yeah, we are proby. I hope there's no other row. Uh, no other oracle being built. Oh, no, definitely is. Why else would there be a chrono boost on that currently? Gonna get a second worker or a second uh, second stalker here as well. 
I feel like there's another... There's another Oracle. This is not the only Oracle, right? I don't believe it. I'm still going to try and finish the game here. So, and otherwise I'll go into blink or something. It should also be fine. I believe I should have won the game already. Had I microed a little bit more effectively or just stopped that Oracle from ever getting into my main base, I think we would have been fine. Can we kill this? I think we can. Oh, yeah. That's one. I think I'm being uh, DT'd as a follow-up, by the way. It's a feeling that I have. It's based on nothing except a feeling, which is what feelings are. Uh, eh, come here. You die as well. I killed every single worker, which is uh, definitely an issue for my opponent. I also managed to take out my opponent's uh, oracle, which means I'm pretty safe at this point. There's still two adepts somewhere. I'm going to get... No GG, actually. This was a very good cheese out of me against Bubas. And that means we get a couple of points from Bubas. Not the highest level player. 5-5, five, five, I think. 5-4-ish. There we go. 7 points in the pocket. Beautiful stuff. And we get to add a no GG as well on top of that. That means 46 out of 78. I believe I missed one week, but I'm sure someone can correct me in the comments. And we're just going to find another one. Oh, I'm accidentally in the, the general English chat. This is one of the things you gotta leave the moment you get online on Battle.net. Is you, you don't want to be in the general chat. Nothing ever good came out of that. So quickly left it. We'll hop into our second game. All right, now we're playing against Skillus, and I have another uh, trick up my sleeve, as we could say. And uh, this trick is a little bit different. Uh, it's a very old school build that I've only played once or twice in my life. I want to say it was on Catalena, where you could proxy uh, buildings in your opponent's natural without them really being spotted. I'm going to do that with two gateways here. Now that sounds kind of wild and it will be rather clear why I do it once I have done it. Basically, ooh, that's a fast scout, isn't it? Is this a cannon rush? Doesn't seem to be the case. So it could still be uh, something down here, I guess. Sees the lack of a second gas. Might be a little bit confused by it. Gateway. Gateway. I don't really want to build anything from here. Just get a second gas as well. He probably believes I'm one gate expanding currently. Which is, this is the beauty. The one gate expand gives cover for so much stupid crap. It's actually insane. Like, you look at all these crap builds and you're like, ah, what is this? I'm going to pretend like I really, really want this. Even going to pretend to be building a unit here. Sell it and start my warp gate at the same time. You have not enough minerals. And here's, here's the uber play. Watch this. You have not enough minerals. A double chrono? <laughs> he hasn't seen anything. He actually hasn't seen anything right now. Oh, he has no clue what's going on. And we follow this up with a Stargate as well. And then the entire this entire build just revolves around my opponent not realizing that there's two gateways proxied on the map. Like, this is an insane build because I just hope that there's no probe in position. If there's a probe in position, I lose the game. However, <laughs> get out! Oh my god, what a build order. Oh my god. You can only do this build once in your life. It's only a li it only works once. And it's still not over right now. That was the, the the worst part of this entire build. Is that even if you win, you could still lose. Because you have no units whatsoever at all. <laughs> this build is so bad. It gives, it gives me pain. It actually gives me so much pain right now. Oh my god, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts, my friends. It hurts so, so much. Okay, we're gonna try to get back here. I need a battery in this location, that much is obvious. Oh. And we'll have a one of these over here. Maybe he full walls himself in. Okay, he did fool himself in. Full wall himself in. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, buddy. Zap 
on one more of these. I have good eco though. I have good eco, which is the one thing he probably can say for himself. I have very good eco. Oh, that thing is still up, huh? I didn't even start uh, my <laughs> my warm gate yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm winning. I killed I killed I killed like seven, eight, maybe nine workers, which was good. Um, I'm gonna get one more of these. I'm even considering a full wall here, and we'll keep these bad boys in the corner for now. Then we follow it up with a a quick oracle as well. The oracle should be a, a big player actually here. I think it will be a big player as well. Get a gateway over here. Is there a pylon somewhere on the map where he can quickly reinforce this position? I think the answer to that is going to at least initially be no. Get another pylon up here. Do I actually want this zealot? Or do I want to go into something like a robotics facility? Maybe just cancel this gate. Robotics facility from here? And we're just playing Eratos from now. This is... This is beautiful. You play a really dumb build, and then when it kind of works, you go into Eratos. This is actually how life is supposed to, to work for people. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to give up the low ground, no? I think so. I don't like that. That much should be obvious. This what? He's still just there though. That's actually kind of annoying, huh? Okay. Immortal? Kinda of do need an immortal here. Okay, this thing is going to pay dividends for me. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> scratch 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 that last thing. Um this is annoying, I kinda of wanna keep it. It's not like I need it for tech, but I think it would be really nice to have in general. Mm. Please. We're not dead yet, necessarily. We're just not looking very good. Okay, now I think we might actually be dead. No! It's still not open. Was this all one base? I think so. We tried our best. If I had a faster immortal out, maybe it could have worked. It was just slightly too late. Like some small supply blocks. How far ahead was I after the early game? This, like I said, this build is actually insanely... I don't want to say bad, but it's kind of bad. I probably should have just straight up started with a Void Ray immediately, or had like a battery here with one Stalker. And then it probably would have been a little bit better. I kill a lot of workers. I kill eight workers. Like, this is game over, usually, in any other scenario. But because there's so much investment here, it's not actually game over. I end up killing this thing as well. Uh, I was too slow. The thing is, I wanted too much. If I had my robotics facility immediately here, right now, I think I'm completely fine. Like, I'm still up in workers. I have pretty decent supply. I have some adepts on the map. I can get an oracle out for scouting, for detection, all of that good stuff. He's just one base all inning me. So I think it would have been fine for me. But yeah, it ended up not being fine for me, which is fairly, fairly frustrating. Because infrastructure is absolute balls as well. Yeah. Big win there for uh, for Skillets. We'll give it to him. Congratulations, Killers. I hope you're I hope you're happy with that. We can never play this build again either. Like it's the last time ever I played this build. I played it once in 2017. This is the second time, and that's it. Never again. Alrighty, friends, time for a very special strategy here against four Jumi. And this is going to be my cannon rush. Now, for the people who've been watching some of the EPT, I recently did this cannon rush against Max Packs. It didn't quite go according to plan completely, but I've done some thinking afterwards and I think I kind of figured out what my mistakes were. Well, this is also a massive mistake. I just misplaced my pylon, which actually is really bad for me. Like this is hugely influential. I'll, I'll need to think of how to fix this uh, gaping error. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this really does suck. Um, actually, we can just walk straight up, I think. Let's hope he's not fast enough with the response here. He technically could pull down workers. Don't think he will. <laughs> no, he definitely did, huh? 
Oh my god, he definitely did. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Please tell me I attack faster. Come on, probe. Yeah, 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 I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. This is a win. Poof! <laughs> Get out, son. Oh my god, this is so sick. I love this type of stuff. I freaking love this type of stuff. Oh, that is so messed up for him. I feel so bad. But at the same time, I feel so good. Because I'm in a really good position. This wall is, by the way, safe. It's absolutely salvaged. No problem whatsoever. Um, I can double cannon here, I think. Let me see. It needs to be... First one needs to be up here. Uh, and then we start fighting this pylon. Uh, one of the most important things is to get a gas going as well. I could technically double cannon. Ooh, wait, that's not in range. Ah, it doesn't matter because he can't actually kill it. Yeah, it's actually completely irrelevant. I, yeah, this is another mistake I made against Max Pax. I didn't kill this fast enough. Which, once again, is a pretty bad mistake. I could go for a second cannon here to kill my opponent's main base faster. But I don't really believe that to be necessary. No. I'm keeping this, uh, this bad boy at home for a little bit longer. Okay, this attacks. This is good as well. Get one of these full wall. I think I can buck through this. Maybe no, I can buck through here. Okay, that's no problem. Nice, beautiful stuff actually. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. do not want to be losing that. I actually do need to scout as well to see um, what is going on here. Like, it, are there batteries being produced? No, it's most likely just going to be a fairly standard response out of my opponent, and that fairly standard response is going to be a void rate in my mind. I'll add one. Ah, there's not even a pylon yet. There's actually no way, right? I don't believe there's going to be any way that I lose this. One, two, and we chrono boost this out. We have a good work account. We have a full wall as well. So this is going to die right now. Right about now. The only thing I'm kind of afraid of. I'll just start a cannon here in case teleport his uh, void ray back home. Because it's definitely going to be a void ray. That's the one thing I do know. I mean, this surely just won't work. Okay, it won't te teleport his Void Ray back home, which is important for me to note. I can do a couple of things here. I can get my own Void Rays. I can also just get the Twilight Council immediately, which I think is slightly better. Okay, this dies. That's good. I can start attacking this pylon. There's going to be a Void Ray popping in pretty soon at this point. Kind of consider even taking this thing out. Probably want a second gateway as well. And what I believe to be true right now is that there already is a. Maybe it's a robo? There already should be a nexus somewhere on the map currently. That is something I absolutely believe to be true. Mm, can't actually afford it yet. The next gateway. First need this. Then I can afford my next gateway. Oh, this is such a beautiful cannon rush. I love two pylon cannon rushes. This is such a good route. A good execution as well. It was a very solid execution, except for the fact that I showed my probe. But that that initial fight, it really gets the 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 blood pumping to your heart. You know what I mean? It really gets a do -do 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 -do. very high pace. Oh, that felt very very good. I am fairly happy with that. Uh, not too happy with this PP. Thanks, Coco. Well, we can go. So probably somewhere on the left side then. Is my opponent settled currently? Oh, here comes the Void Ray. I, I'm just so ready for that. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's too... I don't... I'm not actually ready for that. Nah, okay, no, I was completely fine for that. Nah, I should have had one battery a bit closer to my mineral line. I'm not sure how many Void Rays I can actually take on, though. It's one of the things I, I actually have no clue about. That's a Robo? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we're going to continue taking this out, and then I'm just going to expand as well, which is, I think, a good call here. I could probably even... I want to see if this is possible. I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Solid stuff. Just get a battery at this point. We're so far ahead right now, and not like we're not so far ahead in, in a way where I can just walk over and kill my opponent, but I have good eco. I have very nice infrastructure, which my opponent simply doesn't have. Um, I can even warp in one Stalker here. I want it to be a Stalker so I can attack from a distance and then take out every single building eventually. The only thing I need to do is get one battery in this location and then I think it's Im technically impossible for me to die. Like, there will be two Void Rays and one Immortal soon. 
maybe even three void rays and one immortal that could be scary for a second but once i get some sentry energy building up as well i could even get a second sentry going as well i mean i have a lot of gas left over after all so it's probably a good call it's gonna be supply block temporarily i just think i'm in a good spot the only thing i need to be careful of is that i don't lose my pylon while he moves in so i'm just this seems like i'm playing it overly safe but i think this is actually just the good type of save you know i just established a lead and now i play it out i, w I wish i had known to full wall when i played against max specs it really boosts the power of this build oh my god what is this what is this okay this i hadn't expected This feels not so bad. Once again, just fine in the end. GG! A pro pull! He pro pulled my cannon rush. I didn't think that would be a thing. Actually, a pretty cool move. Surprised me as well. It was 3 Void Ray, one, 1 Immortal. And it was before my Nexus finish, which actually made it a little close. The one Stalker over here perhaps was Tiny Tap 3D as well. That wasn't a good spot. Up 4 workers, fast Nexus. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This was good. Nice. Nothing, nothing to complain about for me absolutely nothing to complain about and i actually think that this is a fantastic way at least in my mind to end today's uh, rather short episode but sometimes things that are short are also fun that's definitely the case here did gg so i need to update this 79 47 thanks everyone so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this episode of the cheesiest man alive if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see all of you next time for a new video thank you and bye to the bye